Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I want to talk about a new weapon which was introduced in the new Tenor Reinforcements update for Warframe. And this new weapon is called the Jat Kusar. And this was a this was actually a community submitted weapon. Uh, it was a winning melee entry from the best defense contest, and it was conceived and submitted by the Tenno Silverbones. Mr. Silverbones, I humbly bow to your wondrous creation here. Now this weapon is a combination of a blade and a whip and uh, it is it's, it's like the other weapons, uh, two other weapons, I believe there's only three total. And there are two other weapons, one's called the Lucera and one's called the Mios. Those are already in the game and they both use the Defiled Snapdragon stance and this stance has a series of combos uh, that, are, that are pretty interesting. But uh, this is a, this is, I don't know if you want to call it a blade whip or a whip blade but uh it is a very very creative combination for this uh this new weapon now this particular weapon the uh jet kusar supports some accessories uh, uh i i i decided to go for the pyra sugatra this one looks like it's on fire and i think it fit the theme of the weapon that we do have a, a blade whip that is uh that has some fire characteristics and uh you know you can change the color to match your frame and all that good stuff so yeah it does support the accessories if you're looking for the fashion frame aspects of it Okay, now let's take a look at the base stats of, of the uh, weapon. First, let's just talk about the different polarities. It has three Madurai by default, uh, which is good. You know, that's a good start. Uh, the, the base stats, the first thing I noticed when I perused over this, I was like, yeah, 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 attack speed. Bro. Okay, 35% critical chance. That's really, really high. So here we have another whip that's probably going to be used for a lot of farming. I know the Adorax is the, is the darling of a lot, a lot of farmers out there, including myself. Uh, but uh, this thing has a 35% crit chance up there with the Fragor Prime. I believe that is tied with the Fragor Prime with the highest base crit chance. And it has a 5% status. So the first thing I gravitated towards was, hey, let's go ahead and build this thing for crit. Um, my favorite <laughs> my favorite mod of choice for anything crit is I like to use Maiming Strike. So I went with that first. Maiming Strike along with the, the typical Blood Rush Organ Shatter, you know, uh, uh, Berserker and uh, Prime Fury builds. Now this thing has a low, a pretty low base attack speed. So I decided to put some attack speed on it because I just preferred to have fast attack speed on top of all the crits. Especially when you get the crit multipliers going, it really, really can can multiply. So this is the build that I, I kind of tested with, and I plan to try more. Um, I had, as you can see on the on the on the uh, on the footage, I have some gas and rad tabs already made for gas damage and and and, uh, and radiation damage. But uh, I imagine I'm going to be probably using crit for everything because um, you know I typically farm. I typically farm uh, solo with necros. And uh, if I use the Adorax or the Lesion or something like that, I'm using crit anyway. Or, you know, I'll throw Corrosive on there. So let's get into the actual footage of the gameplay and how to use this thing and how I use it. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm still in the early testing phases of it. I just got it to 30. I haven't formed it at all. Formed it at all. And uh, one of the things that, that sets this apart from some of the other weapons, which was unique about the design, is that this thing has range. You can... After you equip the melee weapon, you can channel the weapon or charge, I'm sorry, charge the weapon and hold down the uh, melee button and it will do a long range whip attack with an explosion at the apex of the distance. So basically you're going to be <laughs> doing an explosive whip and it does do knock up of the models. Uh, it does knock up of all the enemies that are in that blast radius and it knocks them up in the air a little bit. It's not like a huge blast radius. Now, one of the things I'm, I'm dying to try, I might go into the Simulcrum and try this, is just put some impact on this and see what happens. I don't know if it might affect that or not uh, when I do that charge attack. So, this thing not only does a lot of crit damage, uh, a lot of crit damage at close range with all the melee combos of the Defiled Snapdragon mod, but it also can kill some things at range. And I find that it actually do, it does decent damage. I'm getting orange crits here on a lot of the mobs that I'm actually trying it on. And uh, that's enough to kill them for the beginnings, you know, like the first 15 minutes of a mission. Uh, once you get into like a 20 minute survival or a 20 minute defense or something like that, which is what I'm gonna be primarily using this for, um, then it may get a little bit, you may have to follow it up with something else or, you know, something, some, some Warframe power may have to finish them off or something. 
But for the most part, you know, just with just by initially leveling this weapon and putting some basic crit stuff on there, Prime Fury for attack speed and some Berserker stuff, and uh, you know, the good old maiming strike when you get a good chunk of mobs, you just do some slide attacks and you'll get some really crazy crit procs. It uh it is it's kind of a good weapon. It's pretty satisfying. Um I I, I actually did some trials with gas. Uh, with a little gas build and I have ran into some toxic ancients and yes toxic ancients are resistant to gas and I could not kill them it was kind of hilarious I, I was like is this a bug uh, <laughs> I was like, wow and I was like oh yeah those guys are resistant to you know toxic and uh, uh, I'm sorry gas and you know other types of damage like radiation I believe so Crit's going to be the way to go for me I'm going to continue to refine it I may try to do a couple other crit builds maybe with some uh I think I didn't put body count on there and maybe take out a few of the, the status mods because I want to mix in a little bit of the static because it does have the, the, uh, the status because it does have uh, innate heat uh, built into it. So it does have some heat status into the weapon, of course, because it's you know made of fire. Um, so I, I decided to go with that. And uh, so far, so good. I've got to say it's performing really well. It reminds me a lot of the Atarax and... Uh, it's got the whole range thing to it, and it looks really, really cool. Let's let's just be frank here. Uh, a lot of times, Warframe comes about comes down to looks, and this weapon looks really, really good. So again, Mr. Silverbones, well done on that design. Uh, I like the way the weapon looks. There's some things I want to tweak on my build. Uh, I may form it a few times, maybe to squeeze out some more damage and some more crit. But initially, guys, this is the first look at the weapon, and it does look pretty decent. It's 175 platinum on the market if you want to buy it on the Warframe market. It is on PC only at the moment. Uh, I imagine it will be out on the consoles later on uh, in a few weeks. You know how the schedule goes. Uh, it's about you know, four to six weeks, and then the consoles will get the update as well. This is Warner from Warner.TV. I want to give you guys a first look of the Jack, Jat Kusar. Got to say it right. The Jat Kusar. This is a blade whip designed by Silver Bones, the winner of a community driven contest and digital extremes actually made it. Look at it. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, take care. Have a good day.